This video is by Straight Goods News. SGNews.ca. So, so what's going on in Parliament uh, these days, and what's the NDP's position on whether or not... Uh... There's, a, there's a lot going on in Parliament, and very little of it to the Prime Minister's pleasure, which is nice for a change. The, uh, we saw again today two more Conservative members got to their feet in support of their colleague, who feels he's been muzzled by the Prime Minister's office. It is clear from the way that the uh, Conservatives abuse the what are called SO31s, the statements by members, that they are constant attack ads against the official opposition for the most part, that this tension has been uh, building and is now boiled over. Is it significant that one of the people who just stood up and made that argument is a former member of the Prime Minister's office? Uh, I Thank you for making that connection. I had not made that yet. Um, what I've come to realize is that certainly Mr. Warawa and his frustrations with, uh, with Mr. Harper's control over his every utterance and word in the House of Commons is not unique to him. We would certainly wish that Conservative members would have taken the many other occasions when they were being controlled and muzzled to raise this point. It is certainly the issue uh, of abortion, which some of them are clearly obsessed with, uh, that has given them the, uh, the newfound courage to rise up against What's the Prime Minister. Right, so there's, there's very clear rules that all members of Parliament are guided by when we introduce a bill or a motion. One of the, the tests that you have to meet is that the bill deals with federal jurisdiction, not provincial or municipal. A second important test is that we haven't already talked about the issue. Otherwise, you could just keep uh, regurgitating the same issue over and over again and obsessing about it, which is actually what the Conservatives are doing with abortion. We, we seem to talk an awful lot about abortion when the Prime Minister says that we're not supposed to. So the, the, the test that was applied to this motion and was just delivered into the House uh, on this motion, it failed both of those tests. One that it that fell into provincial jurisdictions, and the second one that the mo it was within hours of the last abortion motion, anti-choice motion failing, that this new anti-choice motion was brought but forward. Sex selection and abortion was never discussed in the House, sir. Yeah, but you have to take a look at the way the House of Commons views the issue itself, right? That a woman's right to choose, which we believe is fundamental, and we are unambiguous and unapologetic about the New Democrats' position on a woman's right to choose. 